now that we have talked about the inquiry let's start with the next step the next step is Walmart making a decision that they either like the inquiry meaning they like the prices or the product delivery dates that HP has proposed or they don't like it if they like it they would like to continue their discussion further with HP in terms of how they would like to proceed further the next step to an inquiry from a customer's perspective is to ask for a formal quote so what is a quote the quotation process is going to look something like this Walmart Walmart is going to call or get in touch with HP and say all right with respect to our inquiry uh, number 110120 we would like to continue further and want to ask you for a formal quote what is a quote a quote is very similar to an inquiry it almost has the same set of details from HP's perspective the seller the quote is almost similar so it has a customer Walmart and of course products right desktop laptop the quantities prices that's a quote so why are they doing it again if everything is similar between a quote and an inquiry What's the point in trying to do it again? The difference between the two, there are a couple of differences between the two, inquiry and quotation. An inquiry is very informal, meaning, yeah, it's like this. You go shopping around for cars, you go visit 10 different dealerships, you're not really sure which car you want, Maybe through the course of doing all these inquiries with different vendors, you find out that you might need a particular model of the car, say a, a Honda CRV. Now you start to focus more and get quotes for Honda CRV from the different dealers that you have visited. What's the difference? The difference is in an inquiry, well, it's more informal, so HP does not need to stick to its terms or prices or deliverables. An inquiry has been made. We promised $500 per piece here. And if Walmart comes back 10 days from now and says, I need the product, HP is not legally bound to deliver them at that price. But a quotation, on the other hand, is more formal, which means the terms and conditions including prices quantities and deliverables need to be adhered to legally meaning it's more or less a formal legal quote whereas this one was more informal no terms no promises all right a third difference is an inquiry like I said is more informal so it doesn't have a set of dates within which it's valid it's informal anyway the quotation on the other hand has a set of dates within which it's valid you want to take an example let's continue the same car search you're searching for cars and you found a car you would like to get a quote on it let's say the dealer has quoted twenty five thousand dollars it's not going to be valid forever right it's going to be valid for say two weeks or a week at most so these set of dates within which that quotation is valid is called as validity dates all quotations typically have a validity date so the from date and the two date are called the validity dates there are some more differences between the an inquiry and a quotation but let's not go there at this point okay so let's summarize what we have learned here we have started with an inquiry 
and HP has generated this inquiry sent it to Walmart number 110120 Walmart likes the inquiry and then requests for a quotation with reference to the original inquiry and we have learned that a quotation is very similar to an inquiry it has quantities it has prices it has the customer and different line items and we have gone through the differences between a quotation and an inquiry we have talked about one is a formal other is an informal we have talked about terms and conditions and we have talked about validity dates in the next chapter we're gonna see how to create this in the system in SAP and see how they look like